What's up guys? So, um, we are going to Paris. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out in the city. It's literally like 60 degrees and it's January, which is very unheard of and very uncommon. So yeah, I thought it'd be cool for me to bring you guys along with me to some of my errands. I have to, I have to go pick up a package. I have to go get bleach and then I also have to get film. So yeah, not a lot of crazy. I was gonna go to the gym, but I think I need to bleach my hair. That's why I'm wearing this hat. You don't need to see it, but um, yeah, I'm really excited. This is my first Paris Fashion Week, so this should be very memorable. It's gonna be one for the books. It's gonna be amazing. It's, uh, I'm so excited. All my friends are going. You guys will see some of them later in the vlog, so I'm so excited. It is currently, it is currently 11, and my flight is at 9 p.m. So I have a lot of time to get a lot done. Um, I also have to do homework. <laughs> um, so I'm going to run and get this package, run grab bleach, run grab film, go home, do homework, bleach my hair. I'm already packed from last night, which is amazing. Um, so everything should be good. I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Also, if this is the first time of you seeing my face, hi, my name is Dion. Yeah, pulling up to the train station. So. Times we had those times I'll always cherish Those times are gone but that's okay Cause we we'll always have Paris We'll always have Paris Who are you and what are you doing in my home? Uh, what's up guys? My name's Alexander Roth and we are in Paris. We're in Paris! Oh, let me just open up my balcony window. Oh, oh hey bro, oh. didn't see you there. Time for my 73 questions. Where are we? We're in Paris. What are we doing? Paris Fashion Week. How old am I? I'm 19. Can you give us a, like a little quick fit breakdown, please? Yeah, so. Starting from where? Top? I have the N, the Mule Meester beret. Love. I got the Barney's knit top, soloist belt with the Bond hardware keychain. I'm saying this wrong, but Sanquois leather bell bottoms and the Andy Millimeter boot. Love and then we're gonna wear the matching jacket, which I don't have on yet. Are you guys vlogging without? Are you vlog? 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 I'm Jackson Ray. Um, just got here, landed this morning, still jet lagged, you know. We'd love to see it. But Can you give us a quick you know fit breakdown? Okay, yeah, for sure. Started I mean, from where? Honestly, I wear the same all the time, so it's nothing special. Got the Saint Laurent scarf, love to fall see it. winter, 13, Eddie Simane. Love to see it. Oh my god, he just had Stop! Leave him alone. I love Eddie. Uh, <laughs> I have a vintage jacket I got uh, in Brooklyn. Ooh. To see it. Don't uh, tell people where we shop. <laughs> Western Bell I got from my grandma. Love to see it. Got some Wrangler kind of flitter trousers with Love to Saint Laurent Lucas boots. Love to see Big it. Big seventies energy all week. Big seventies energy. Can't expect me. And then of course jewelry. Yes sir. You know, I like to accessorize a bit. Yes sir. Justin Boone. <laughs> can't say much about myself. <laughs> Other than the fact that I'm wearing okay, okay. Vintage Levi's vest. Love to see it. You know, you know what time it is. Love to see uh, it. Unraveled denim jacket. Love to see it. A little bandana. Love. Carhartt beanie. Love to see it. Vintage trousers. Love. Some little Carolina workman boots. Love to see it. Yeah, that little stomp that he did. Real, real worker vibes today. Heard you. This is just day one. Dodge. Heard. Ooh. 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 Who's that? I'm. Who, who is she? Who is? Who? Hi, my. I'm Janina. My name is Janina. I'm Janina. Okay. And I'm red this season. Who is Nina wearing? Alright, we gotta go. Don't! Sorry. Don't just hide the product. Right. Janina's wearing who? Prada, Prada, Prada sweater. We love to see it. St. Quinn. Prada. Prada bag. Gia. Gia. And. Love to see it. You know? Love to see it. And a little bit of. Vivian. A little touch. Just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> so we're gonna do a quick talk. We need to go. I'm hungry. Right, <laughs> okay, these are my shoes. 
Hey. Everything I have for the shows, which I so can't believe. And then this is everything I brought myself. Lots of 70s stuff, lots of suede and nudes and fall fabrics and whatnot. So let's eat. This. This is day one. We're heading to breakfast. Three of us have fittings, three of us have shoes, so we just wanted to make sure that we can do a little tour, a little small ray before the first day gets started. But yeah, um, it's so pretty here, actually. The weather's also not as bad as we thought it was going to be. Where are we going? What's the name of the place we're going to, Nina? We're going to Benedict's. We're going to Benedict's. You can only imagine what they serve there. You can only, I mean, probably pancakes. And Benedict's. And Benedict's. I, I will see you guys when we get to breakfast. I feel like one, two, Oh my god, these are so hot. I can't do it! I can't. You are stressing me the hell. You I can't. I can't. I'm done. I'm Someone stole my phone. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Hi. So I don't have a phone. <laughs> um, I am currently phoneless. But you know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. I went to the Apple store yesterday and I bought an iPod. And that's more than a lot of people have. So I'm very, very grateful. It is currently 8.40 in the morning. Um, I have Etudes show at 10. So I'm currently doing research on them as a brand because I know a lot of brands before their shows in fashion week they will drop like subtle hints of what their capsule will be about and I think that it's super super fun fun I don't know to get like some sort of continuity to what I'm wearing to their what their capsule is going to be so um, right now I'm getting kind of like metallic e minimalistic vibes so I'm not really sure exactly which to go with I may end up doing the 205 um, Calvin set, or I may just go like super minimal green as like a monotone or like a monochrome moment, monotone, monochrome moment. Yeah, just that show today, and then I really wanted to take today to just enjoy Paris and enjoy being here. So that's exactly what I'm do. Yeah, I'm going to get dressed, and then I will see you guys at the show. Skin is prepped. Teeth are brushed. Eyebrows are plucked. We're ready. Bye. All right, guys. So I just got in my car. We are heading to eat through this or eat through this, um, and I'm really excited. Actually, I'm really, really excited. So I decided, like I said, to go with the Calvin set. Um, I feel like I couldn't go wrong given like the colors and I don't know. This is one of my favorite sets, and I feel like this will probably more than likely be the time to wear it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just super, super excited to be here. To, I'm grateful i'm so grateful to be here like i'm literally in one of the most beautiful cities surrounded by so much beautiful people all my friends are here well a lot of my friends are here and i don't know it's just i'm grateful to even be at these shows like to be sitting i don't know it's weird it's weird it's very very strange and um no, I'm just super grateful. I never imagined any of this like happening to me probably. I never imagined any of this happening to me a year ago, like at all. Like if, if, it, if anyone were to tell me, then you're gonna be in Prince Fashion Week, that it up. Like I literally, I would have like heard it and I would just been like, ah, oh, like, yeah. But I never, I don't know who they think they honking at. I never really saw this in my cards if we're being completely honest. Um, so that's why this is so special to me. This is my first Paris Fashion Week and I think, this is, I don't know, it's the first of many, but it's definitely something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. That just goes to show, like if I'm here, that goes to show that anything is possible. Like I'm a regular ass boy from a small town in Arkansas. Like that goes like, what, what? I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, I'm here and I'm present and it's beautiful. 
and yeah so after this i'm gonna go back to my hotel change um probably grab coffee and then may shoot a little bit of content but other than that i'm really just going to be going to thrift stores doing kind of like touristy things yesterday so yesterday i went to this thrift store here in paris it's called kilo um and first off the employees there are the sweetest people they were so so kind throughout the entire thing happening um basically i was in a fitting room and which isn't really even a fitting room it's just like a curtain that you like pull back whatever so i'm in there i set my phone on this like pole um and i i, I try on the pants love them gagged for them love them like love them so much they were everything they were amazing um and i leave my phone for like 0. 0.2 seconds 0. 0.2 i swear point point two seconds and i come back and the phone is gone i was reaching for my phone like saying like okay so i'm just gonna pay with apple pay da, da, da. i'm grabbing for my phone and i'm like you ever do the nervous shuffle when you ain't got something you just i'm just not feeling all your pockets yeah so I, yeah my phone was not on me at all at all she was absent she was absent so i run back down to the fitting room phone's gone phone was gone she was gone absolutely gone. i went to the apple store left the apple store went back to my hotel um was on the phone with apple for hours i was trying to figure out like what to do with apple care plus apple care plus does not extend over into europe so i couldn't even buy a new phone here because i couldn't even activate my services too much too much i had to settle for an ipod <laughs> I bought an iPod and it's honestly like you don't know what you what you you don't know what you don't have. What is it? You don't know what you have. You don't know what you have until it's gone. Trust and believe. Let me tell you. Going from this iPhone 11 Pro Max to this itty bitty iPod touch was the most humbling experience I've had in a long time. But you know what? It's fine. I'm super grateful because um at the end of the day like people some people don't even have that and at the end of the day i'm not letting that deter me from having a beautiful time in paris i'm in paris like i'm healthy i'm happy i'm good you know what i'm saying like i'm good so yeah, i'm gonna have such an amazing time and i have been and i'm still attending shows so i how how can i be upset how can i be upset brief recap of what happened last night yesterday after my phone got stolen went back to my hotel ate um where did i go i went to phipps went to that show that show was hectic uh traffic was horrible when i tell you horrible i mean absolutely horrible i got into the line there was probably like i would say around 10 people ahead of me the woman comes out she looks and she's like asking people their name and none of them i guess i don't know none of them are giving like her, them the correct name or something um because she just keeps saying no she keeps saying no and then she was like bonsoir and she like come up to me and i'm like hi i'm dion she's like dion hinton i was like okay yes and then like she selected my name pulls me in when you get into the show there's another portion of the show that you have to get into so there was a line to get that was a line outside of that door as well so as soon as i get up to that line the lights dim and i'm like no like i don't want to miss this show this is my first paris fashion week show there was a moment like and then in that moment D'accord, il y a la priorité à droite, il y a la priorité, hey, le code de la route, s'il te plaît, chef. Merci. But if you're trying to find, I got your way, period. Uh-uh. Was her accident? Oh my God. Thank you. No, I'm just there's a line like i said to get into the actual show the lights dim and i'm like oh my god no i don't want to miss the show i just see this random head pop out of like pop out of the crowd he's like you like he looks around he's like you and i was like me <laughs> so he's like you come here and like i like run to he's like follow this man and you're gonna go on your left and literally i walk down the steps to get into the show i step to my left i sit front row and as soon as i sit the lights turn off and the music starts and i'm like if this isn't fake i don't know what is i don't know what is i don't know also why me you know what i'm saying i'm like i'm 
I, it's, it's crazy. I don't understand these things. It may have been a coincidence, it may not have been, but you know what? It happened. It happened. I'm gonna see you guys when I get to Ed do these. Ed do these. And yeah. Bye. We have changed. We are heading now to a quick shoot. It'll probably take like an hour, honestly. It won't take long. But um, going to shoot with Joy Saturday, an amazing designer. Um, and yeah. Hi. I just went downstairs to get my Uber Eats and I grabbed my pack one of my packages from the receptionist and this is the invitation. I've never received an invitation like this. So I didn't even see the side part. I was just like, what is this? And it's it on the paper it was like open. I was like push the button in the dark. So I was like, let's push the button in the dark. Oh, oh my god. Look how unique that is. I don't know. What am I doing on the what what am I doing on January 17th at 7 p.m.? Um I don't I don't know. I guess we'll I guess we'll have to see. Alright guys, so it is day three and I'm currently heading wait what time is it? It is a 1040. Three shows today, starting off with Izumiyaki at 10:30. I have um I have Sean Swin. What time is that? Sean Swin. I have Sean Swin at 1.30 and Angus Chang at 3.30. Angus Chang at 3.30. So it's a full day. I think we have to come home and change before Angus Chang. We're gonna vlog. I'm gonna try to definitely shoot some content in this look. I want it to be more of like street style content because shooting just iPhone obviously is cute, but I want it to look the part because it's so hard to find your street style photos in Paris. New York is pretty easy to find them. Everybody shoots either BFA or Getty, but it's so hard to find them in Paris. So I have no idea where any of my looks actually are floating around this internet, but it's fine, it's fine. So um, it's gonna be a little warmer today. So that gives us a chance to do a little different look, a little different swap to see what's gonna be really cute. I'm really excited. We're about to have fun, but we need coffee. So we're gonna go do that. All right, let's go. Who's Dion? Who is this Dion person? This order is a iced matcha latte with oat and vanilla. I totally recommend. It's amazing. We are now pulling up to the show.
Alright guys, so we just wrapped the show. It was honestly um it was actually it wasn't a show, it was a performance. It was like I don't know. There was celloists, there was pianists, there was acrobats, there was everything. I feel like if you're gonna have a show, I feel like that's definitely the way to do it to make sure that it's something that no one's ever seen before, but also something that people will never forget while also still captivating the collection. So Yes, now we are heading to Sean Swin, and I'm really excited for that. We may grab a bite to eat before. I'm not really hungry. Um, I don't know. At certain like events like this or like moments like this, I don't. I lose at my appetite completely. But so we're heading to Sean Swin, so we will see you there. Twin. Honestly, the show was so good. To be truthful, that was honestly probably my favorite show like that I've seen thus far this season. Like the colors, the palettes, they were all so soft and literally everything that like I love, all the tones that I love, everything was just perfect. So that's it. That is it. Sean Twin did that. Things Sean Twin did that. Um no, the show was honestly phenomenal. The tones were so, so, so good. They He did like a really cool like face painting on some of the models. It was amazing, amazing. I love that it was also like super intimate. There weren't a lot of people there, but again, it was my favorite collection. The pieces were so, so, so good. They were very wearable, which I think is very important for, for a lot of collections that the pieces are actually wearable. Um, the tones all coincided with each other and ugh. It was so good, powerful, powerful. So we are now in our car heading back to the hotel to do a quick change. We are running a little bit behind, but it will be okay. Um, I don't think none of the shows are starting on time anyway. That show was uh, probably like 30 minutes late. Um, but yeah, we're heading to the hotel now to change and then we're heading to Ang and Shang. And after that, we're gonna go get food because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. I have not eaten all day and that's okay. It's totally fine. It's not okay, it's not fine. But yeah, we'll see you guys in a What's up guys? So it is the following day. I am currently in my Uber. So today's shows we have Dior and Vetmont. Um, thank you so much Dior for having me a part of the show. I'm really, really grateful. I'm so excited, so freaking excited. Um, so yeah, I really can't wait to see what's to come, truly. I cannot wait to see. So yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for my look to come um, to my hotel. I'm just praying that it gets her on time. The show starts at four and it is currently, basically, it's basically two. Wait, no, the show starts at six. Show. <laughs> the show starts at six. The show starts at six and it is currently two. So yeah, I feel like that's more than enough time. Traffic isn't like horrible, horrible. It's actually a little lighter than what it generally is, but I guess that's okay. But other than that,
Alright guys, so it was pouring raining after the show. I am now rushing to get to Vetmont on time. The New York show was literally phenomenal. Oh my god, it was so good. So good. Like I'm actually speechless. I'm gonna do like a final recap about the shows that I went to, um, what I love from them. Um, yeah, see you guys at Vetmont. <laughs> This is a security announcement. Please turn on the flashlight on your phone in order to see the show. <laughs> Alright guys, this is my last day here in Paris and wow, honestly I've had such an amazing time here. I've met so many beautiful people. Um, I never imagined my first Paris Fashion Week going anything like this. Um, I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity to live this life and to be able to, um, I don't know, just to really experience these moments that I've always dreamed of. This trip really, really taught me a lot about myself that I didn't know. A lot of the things that happened, I truly was able to get through. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't have been possible without um, my best friends and the people that I was on this trip with because they truly helped me a lot. But also, it's I'm very fortunate, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I'm very grateful and I'm very fortunate. And again, I want to thank everybody that made Fashion Week possible for me. Thank you to everyone that allowed me the opportunity to actually experience this to the fullest. With all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you want, if you want, I'm not forcing you. I am not, I'm not forcing you to do anything. I wouldn't be, I would not be upset. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't be mad at you if you, if you wanted to do that. No, but seriously, if you guys want to connect with me on social media, my Instagram is at OKDion, and all my other social links will be in the description. But yeah, um, as they say in Paris, actually, I don't know what they say here. I don't know how to say by it. Wait, bonsoir.
Oh, I can say bonsoir. <laughs> bonsoir. <laughs> Merci. Wait. Merci, bonsoir. Wait, bonsoir is high, though. I don't know. I love you. Bye. <laughs>